Hey, I'm Carl Graham, uh, Role Models Academy mentor and creative director for Role Models Create. This video is the second part to the key ingredients for you guys becoming the professional model that you are aiming for. So the last video was regarding your Polaroids. Today is the portfolio section of that professional toolkit. You know that I believe that the Polaroids are number one. This is number two, extremely important. You have to make sure that the pictures you have in your portfolio are the best possible options and that you have several options for the clients to see because if you don't, they're just gonna think that you can do one thing and one thing only. You've got to make sure that when you're, when you're choosing your pictures from your jobs or when you're creating your portfolio, you need to make sure that you have that, those specific changes of material which best showcase you and the talent that you can do. We are now shooting today for, I thought it was a great opportunity to get you inside what, what we do here at the Academy. We're shooting with a new model, uh, Andrew Turner, he's from the, uh, from the UK and we have um, been talking to him for the last few weeks regarding his portfolio and how he wants to become more professional, wants to update his look, update what he's been doing in order for him to push to new clients and in fact go back to old clients and say, hey, this is what I can do now. So we've been looking at lots of different pictures, lots of different scenarios. We've been talking to him about how he wants to best portray himself to his clients. And um, we, we all agree here at the Academy that he is very commercial, needs to showcase that a lot more in his portfolio, a lot more natural, a lot more smiling, you know, create some kind of atmosphere within his portfolio to show his personality rather than just dead straight posing all the time. It's really important to get that ability to come out and jump out of the page to the clients. Now, I'm not sure, but I've seen a lot of portfolios recently and I just see a lot of people just getting any pictures possible to fill the portfolio. And that is in fact, even if they have a portfolio, because a lot of people don't have the portfolio and it's, it's insane. I cannot understand why people do not have a portfolio this day and age, trying to be professional and go up against their competition. So, we are now going to shoot. I want you to sit back. I want you to watch what we do. I'm going to talk every stage through it with you so that you can understand what we've done, how we've portrayed um, this particular model and how you can take that into what you're going to be doing when you're shooting with the photographers, when you're building your portfolio and when you're going to add pictures to your portfolio to strengthen that sales tool and that key ingredient to make yourself a professional. So. We're all getting set up behind here. Uh, we're in a beautiful location. We've got up nice and early, catch the sunlight. You can see it just coming over the trees now. And hopefully we're gonna have an awesome shoot. So uh, I'll be speaking to you through the day and uh, enjoy. All right, so shot number one for Andrew. Uh, we're gonna to speak to Andrew in a little while so you can get to know him a little bit as well and see what he's going through here. Um, we really wanna use his sports physique, um, get his natural ability out, start smiling, having fun, just moving around. So we're down on the tennis court. It's absolutely perfect. The sunshine's just coming through now. I can't see a thing. Um, so we're just setting up all the lighting, setting up uh, the, the cameras and everything, and we're just getting Andrew to beef up a little bit. Obviously, you want it natural, but you really need to, to pump as well. So work hard at the gym, but on the day, you know, you've really got to start thinking, right, okay, I've got this shoot to do, I've got that shot. So you've got to plan your days up to your shoot so that you can look the best that you can for when you're doing your portfolio, because that's what the client's going to see. That's really important. So there's the man that's getting beefed up. Your movement, really, you've seen the pictures that, that we want to try and get. It's very simple. I mean, even just capturing the one shot yeah. is what's going to make the difference. So even if it's just a simple move like, and you look up, yeah, yeah. you know, so like, that could be the shot. Mm -hmm. it, or if you're just looking down and kicking up, you don't, in your portfolio, we don't always have to see your face yeah. straight to camera. It can be the whole body it's the motion, yeah, yeah. you know, it's not just like, oh yeah, this is, this is Andrew. Oh, this picture is also Andrew. Oh, this picture is Andrew. It's not like that, you know, yeah, you're, yeah portfolio needs to show like this motion of 
yeah. things that you can do and okay. the, the movement that you can create and the atmosphere that you can get. So even just a, say for example, I'm shooting and you just like you're just about to kick it and you just look up at the camera. That, right that little exactly. that little moment is like that's 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 the selling spot. Okay. Yeah. So we just we just go with it. All right. All right. Let's go. Obviously, looking through these shots now, you realise that some of them are just sort of like wasted, wasted yeah. time for you yeah. and for you know the team who are ever shooting. So you've got to think that every time you can hear the, the camera guy mm -hmm. clicking, you know when it's shooting. Mm -hmm. So you've got to make sure that every time he's going to click, that there's a that there's a shot that they can use. Yeah. You know, there's no point in going in between. Yeah. Okay. You understand? So now when you're looking at the shots, you can you have to imagine what that shot is going to appear like. Right. in camera which of course takes you know it's the it's the time and the practice yeah. and shooting and shooting is shooting it gets you that experience yeah. to understand but you say to me i know what you're after so that's a good thing mm -hmm. already you understand yeah. the shot that we're trying to achieve yeah so now it's just you going into that character mm -hmm. to bring it through so we've already done the sports shot which we we nailed yeah so now this is more like you know like we just said a bit more grungy a bit more sort of young, sort of cool, just walking through the streets. You've had a late night, chilling, you know, with your friends or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, so you've got to start thinking, mm. how would that person react? What would he do? Yeah. What would look cool on camera? Yeah. And then try and get that picture to come out every time I'm clicking something. Mm -hmm. So we've just taken, what, like 50, 50 different shots. You know, and some some are very nice. I mean, some are really nice. Yeah, so you see, you know, you understand that from the different shots that we're shooting, that you know, yeah, we've got a few, but really, you should be able to to give the cameraman yeah, more. more, which yeah. you can. You're more than capable of yeah. doing it. You've just got to take your time and understand. That, okay, if he's there, well, you know, why don't I just sort of just stand here and just like look through and look back? I mean, I can't guide you on every shot. I can only give you an opinion. Yeah. You have to come through with your character and what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, all right. You know, so just take your time with it. I mean, I'm only going to shoot if I see. Oh. I think this is great because it's somebody who's just so confident in front of camera yeah. that there's no sort of issues. He's just relaxed. You could put a camera in front of him. He's not even going to know you're there. Mm -hmm. And that's somebody just reacting to a situation. So the problem is that when you're seeing the sh these shots, you're probably thinking, well, uh, that's not me. That's not how I, you know, how you think that you should be doing it. Yeah. But in actual fact, this is exactly how you should because this is personality. This is just trying new things. Okay. This is somebody who's fun. And relaxed in front of camera and can do shots, different so you, shots because yeah. not every shot needs to be the same. It can't yeah, be the can't same, be all, you know. Yeah, it can't yeah. every shot can't be like sexy and this and slick and you can't be James Bond every time. We Craig Smith, every you know. Time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've got to you've got to change your character into different things. You've got to yeah. be certain people for different genres because at the end of the day, you know, the clients are going to be wanting to shoot you for different jobs. Mm -hmm. So this is very sort of like Billabong on the beach. You know, you, they can see you in some shorts and they'd get you with a chick and you'd probably be like, yeah, chick, yeah, yeah, just, you know, like, yeah, yeah. just relax, it's that <laughs> smiling, it's, that's, that's sort of billabong, relax, surfer dude, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, catalogue yeah. stuff, yeah. Which, which is where your money is. I mean, where else are you going to make yeah. money? Your, your catalogue, you know, your commercial. Yeah. We're, none of us are going to get D&G campaign, blah, 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 you know, but yeah. we make the most of what we got. And what we have yeah. is character and somebody who can become confident in front of camera that okay. clients trust. 
But you've got to be confident in what you're doing. Yeah. And you've got to understand where you're going with it, because yeah. this is yours. Yeah. You know, I'm only trying to capture something from you. Mm -hmm. I can't make you do something. I've just got to try and encourage you to become a character. Well, I'm definitely getting better than what they were just about five minutes ago. But yeah. I mean, even this one, I, I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, like smiling ones. I don't usually... You don't I like it? Yeah, because you I think like, that... Yeah, I, I, don't, I just hate it. I've got a thing on my teeth, I don't yeah. like it, and I don't usually do the smiles, mm. but... Yeah, but you've got bad. to, no, yeah. you've, they're you, good, they're yeah, good. you've yeah. got to because this is you being natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're hiding it, then nobody's going to ever book you for that. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't smile, they're not going to book you for the job. If you yeah. smile, you've got a chance of booking that job. Yeah, yeah. So just smile. If they don't like you, they're not going to book you anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you've got to have the option for them. You've got to give them the option to see you as that person. Yeah. You know? Because you can't not do something just because you're afraid of it. Yeah. And that's the problem. People are afraid to see something that they don't like on camera. Yeah. But unfortunately, you want to do this job, so you just got to go through that motion and not be afraid. Just do it. Yeah. If it looks shit, we don't use it. Yeah. That's why we're doing a lot. That's why you do it. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's what that's what these shoots are about. It's for you to get confident, to understand how you look in different motions and different forms. How many shoots have you done in total? Like a couple of handfuls. Yeah, like ten. Yeah. Or something, yeah. So you imagine now another ten handfuls in another fifty shoots, yeah. another hundred shoots. Yeah. And, but you do them because they're going to lead to something, they're a target, mm -hmm. then you'll just get better and better and better. Mm -hmm. Already now, after this morning, we've only been shooting for two hours, you already yeah. become more natural. Yeah. yeah you don't good. have to see everything, everything yeah, yeah, yeah. all of the time in your portfolio. You've got to see something like this. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. just you were feeling something here. I yeah? see it in my eyes. Yeah, let me show this to the camera. Now shot three of the four um, ideas for the portfolio. Um, the first one was a lot more sporty. I mean, everything that we're doing is like quite sporty and commercial. I mean, I think that you'll agree that that's the market that you need to go into. Yes. And exactly, actually, in fact, the, the, what you said to me anyway was the point of you understanding and realizing that that was your style. Mm -hmm. So you understand where you can sell yourself better and make the most money to what you want, which is what it's all about. So we've shot the stuff with the, the football. Um, we were going to play tennis originally, but it didn't really work out. We had a crap tennis racket. It <laughs> didn't look good, didn't have the style. So we ended up going with the football, playing around, you know, thinking that your friends are around, just having a, having a fun day out, the sun shining, relaxed. Um, the next thing we did was something a little bit more grungy down in the, in the alleyway, which I think came out quite well. And I think you started to realize that, you know, the best shots come from you becoming that character. That was my breakthrough moment. The breakthrough. Um, so you realize that that's, that's the moment. When you, you get the best shots is when you go into the character, mm -hmm. you're not really thinking about the shot, you're just trying to become that person, yeah. that, the idea of the shot. Yeah. Uh, then we just came by the pool, shot some of the pool shots. Um, body, you know, emphasis on the body, him, be, him feeling relaxed. Sort of like checking himself out, looking around, you know, there's some girls around. And I suppose that the last three shots have been very sort of um, predictable for his portfolio. Um, uh, specifically for the clients that we think that you're going to get, which are the underwear, swimwear catalogue, sportswear, and also sort of young wear um, catalogue as well. I think more casual sort of stuff that you can get. Yeah, you still got it, mate. You're not too old, yeah. So I've now decided that, that the environment that we've got here, it's not working out with one of the shots that I wanted. So we're now just going to do a very close up beauty shot. And I think to get Andrew used to the way that his face can move 
and fit it within the, the camera frame. I think it's really important for when you're you know, shooting with your future clients that you understand every aspect of what you can do. So if it's far away, you know how your body looks. If it's close up, you know what's happening in your face, your expression, your eyes. So now this is a chance for you to and yeah, start to understand how your face works because that's the, the main thing really. It's like looking into camera, what can you do when you turn away from camera? And I think that it's re really important that, you know, all of you, actually you can do it just by practicing in the mirror, you know, or taking some shots, put your camera on a timer, take some shots, uh, little snapshots always help as well because then you can see the different angles um, and, and start practicing with it because then you can s bring that to the clients who are going to book you and it's going to help you tremendously when you're shooting your Polaroids and when you're shooting your portfolio. So yeah, I think uh, definitely been an improvement from the first shots. It's helped, it's a relaxed atmosphere. Um, it's kind of eased me into it. The first shots, I wasn't really getting into uh, the character, like you say, of what I, was, what I was doing. I was just kind of thinking, oh, I'm getting a shot taken of me. I need to do this and that. But yeah, I think the, the last one I did, I was definitely trying to get into the, the person that's doing it rather than, uh, rather than just being a ma Sorry. mannequin. Yeah. Um, yeah, rather than you just being you, you've got to become something else. Yeah, yeah. Particular shot. Yeah. But um, yeah, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to think about that. But then um, it's also an experience, like trying to think about the lighting and stuff like that, because it's. Uh, I always kind of thought it was the like the cameraman's job to get the lighting, but really, I guess a lot of it's on you. You've got to know your body position with uh, what's going on, and um, definitely the more shots we're doing, I'm kind of getting the getting this feel a bit more. Um, looking at the shots is, easy, is, is helping as well. I look at what I'm doing wrong and try and improve myself on it. So yeah, looking forward to this afternoon. I mean, just going back on your point regarding the, you know, the cameraman's job. I mean, of course it is that team's job to mm. help create that lighting, but you've got to be aware of the restrictions that they have, well, yeah, the definitely. angle that they want, because if they want this particular angle because of the background, mm. you just have to work for that. Yeah. You know, rather than thinking, well, why don't you just move? Well, no, I want that. Yeah. But you've got to work with me. Exactly. And I yeah. think that's the the mindset the models need to change. It's like, oh, well, definitely, because it's impossible. It's impossible them. for you if you're trying to get that one shot at that angle. Then I have to make my body get the light. Otherwise, yeah. it's not. Yeah, I'm sort of I'm getting that a bit more. So. Uh, and I think that's a, a problem with, uh, a, not most models or not all models, but a lot of people hmm. um, that I've met. They just believe that they're there and they have the right to just, you know, like, hey, I'm the model, just shoot me. Yeah. But no, it's not yeah. like that, you know, if you really want to make it mm. and you really want to become a professional, you have to work with the crew to help them mm. to produce the shot that in actual fact the client wants. Yeah. You know, and I think you've realized a little bit of that today yeah. as well. Definitely, so the more experience, the more I'll, I'll get to know myself, so that's what I'm hoping to achieve today, get a, a good few poses in my repertoire so it's not just blue steel. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's it. It's like, oh, I can do something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One way. Yeah. But I think this morning has helped a lot anyway. Definitely. Absolutely. And we've now got one more shot, which, is, as I say, is the beauty shot, which mm -hmm. is very close up on your face. So you can understand how your face yeah. works. And that really sort of intense, <laughs> there's yeah. the camera lens. What yeah. do I do? Um, and then this afternoon, obviously, we're going to a studio, which is actually a different type of thing, mm -hmm. you know, because it's not using the natural light, the light will be set up mm -hmm. and it will be a different experience for you, so I think that would be good. Good. I'll be a more rounded person in model. Cool man. Yeah. Good. good. Let's go.